What's up guys? Welcome back to David Steve. In this episode, we're still at Danny's house, but we're working with some incredible snakes which we've never displayed on the channel before, including Mambas and Taipans. guys, we're still at Danny's. We're going to be looking at some of his other awesome snakes. As usual, I'll leave links to his social media down below. Go check that out, please. And yeah, what are we going to look at? Uh, mostly the Mambas. I uh, like Aleppids the most. And uh, I have a big Mamba collection also. But also, down here we've got some other things We have things also Peter's Rhinoceros and uh, a Dynophagistrodon Acutus and a PH in Taipan. Which I'm really excited to see. Um, let's start here. This is Dendrospus Jimsoni Jimsoni. Okay. James's Mamba. Uh, you don't see them very much in the hobby. Most is wild calf. These animals were in very bad condition. Uh, this one also, and the black Mamba below was also in bad condition. But it took me four months and a lot of antibiotic and uh, treatment to get them uh, very well. And I'm surprised uh, they made it all. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking they were they have, uh, at least 50% died. They were in really bad uh, well, shape. Now they, they look. But good. they look very good. It'll take a lot of time and energy to, uh, to make them uh, look like how they look today. Alright, so for the Mambas, the room is actually quite small. We figured it's best probably not to get them out since they're quite flighty. We don't want to get bit, of course. But now we're going to actually bring a snake out. One of his, well, his really large Bitloon Viper. This is the largest one I've ever seen. Ah, he's back. I really don't know what I'm doing standing here with a small hook like this. <laughs> <laughs> How incredible would it be to find one of these in the wild at this size? Yeah, it's very difficult to find them in the wild. Wow! <laughs> cool, huh? The head is literally the size of my fist. Yeah, they're very long fangs and uh, they think this is one of the worst bites. Uh, I think you survived it, but yeah, the bite is real worse. But you see they're very uh, very calm and nice animals. They look very slow, they but I have fast. my hook here to block, but if I don't have that, they can strike now in my leg quite easy. You can see the tongue is flickering. He's not treated. And that's how you go with snakes, you must read them. Okay, David is now gonna handle this big boy. I've never handled a gaboon this big before. My, I have one back home, as you probably already know from my Instagram, but it's literally like nothing compared to this one. So, I don't have a whole lot of experience with this, so I'm going to be as careful as I possibly can. Wait, I'll, 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 I'll carefully go around. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, that tongue is still flickering pretty good now. It's good. I love how they move, it's not really like a typical snake, they kind of like... They crawl like in uh, the rubs, do you say that in English? Yeah. Caterpillar. Yeah. They crawl like a caterpillar. They're walking on the ribs. Wow, that's amazing. The tongue is really going. That is calm. Look how close their eyes are together. Compared to the width of the head. I think with Kabooz this can strike backwards very, very fast. Yeah. It's a little dangerous thing. But Same with the uh, Ariatans as yes. well. Yes. Ariatans is uh, very grumpy. I, I wouldn't do this with the Ariatans. This one and Nossi Corners are quite calm. Of course, I'm making no fast movements or anything that might scare it. I'm just trying to imagine what a bite from one of these would be like. Let's not, uh, let's not find out. Let's not find out. Static. I can actually see he's bubbling now. Alright, so Danny just told me the PNG Taipan is in its hide box, so we might not be able to take it out because it's 
difficult. The hide box can, uh, can't open. The hide box yeah. can't open. But so yeah, uh, so was was one of my designs years ago. <laughs> it was not a very bright idea. Bruh. <laughs> you can see that pretty fast. Okay. Now put the hide box close. If we uh, let it calm down for five minutes or something, ten minutes, I think uh, we are uh, we're capable to let them out and uh, take it to the living room. All right, so Dan is just getting out the Taipan. We're staying back here so that he has a lot of space okay, to work with it. Slow movements, please. Slow movements. Because they, uh, they're so fast. This is one of the dangerous snakes to handle in the whole world. It's quite calm now. I saw when he took it out just how quickly it came out of the hide box. Yeah. I block them with my hook like this because a lot of people can hit me in the leg or the chest. Every movement is scarce. Back rolling, eh? A lot of Australian lappers do that. Back rolling. Yeah, he's really like slipping backwards. Do you have handle type of David? No, never. Uh, do you want to try it? I, I would love to try it. Okay, um, I, I want to hook that. <laughs> give the hook in my hand in case of emergency. Um, and block the yeah, hook with your leg because no, the strike always to the legs. This one is quite calm for a PNG. But it can, uh, yeah. can, can be pretty unpredictable. Yeah. Yeah, Hercules thinks he gets food again. Orange food. Orange food. Orange food. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> active in the back. Maybe they eat orange. Jesus. You must tell it uh, after the Kloaka. Yeah. 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 Okay, I put it back now. Okay. Because he's a little bit wrong with it. Alright, so Dan said at first that we're not going to get out the mangas, but now we've decided that this one is pretty calm according to Dan, so he said we can try to take it out for a short while. Alright, what is this one? This is a western green mamba, Dendroraspis virus. And it's huge. You probably can't tell on the video, but it's, it's yeah. massive. Is a very green yellow snake. Cheers, Jeff. <laughs> and the first. This one is quite calm. If you have wild kept, they have uh, three times worse than this. Want to try it? Oh, me? Okay, sure. Okay. Okay, Lisa. Back because it. Yeah, okay. Yes. Take two. And they're arboreal, so they will be so agile on the hook. Yeah, go pretty able to your hands. Able to fly up the hook in no time. Okay. Uh, leave the head on the ground because otherwise you go up again and uh, the yeah. print for the hook you have is always is too short, also. Mark you how long and hard, Kevin? Just watch out with you. Arm. Which arm? Oh. Yeah, you're pretty close if he flips. Ah. Can't be good. As long as you stand still, then you're normally pretty good. But if he hits you in his flight, then we're at a bite. Snake. All right, what are we looking at now? So now Dan is going to take out the Chinese sharp-nosed viper. Oh, it already took a strike. It's or a very friendly animal. 
Dainakistrodon acutus. Some people call this the 100 pacer because apparently you can only take 100 steps after it bites you. But uh, I don't think that's very accurate. I don't think that I'll show you. You said this one is quite calm? Or not? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. <laughs> I love their underside too. That the underside reminds me a lot of Agkistrodon actually, with those um, spots along the side, quite similar to the Agkistrodon contortrix. What a pretty snake! One of those snakes that isn't like beautiful because of its colors. It's just like, just, it has like, such a nice pattern. And the shape too, it's really, yeah. that head is just so cool such looking. Aesthetically pleasing. And the texture of like how the skin, how the scales look on the body is really nice did, as well. Do these as a baby also have the bright yellow tail tip? Yeah, look? he's yeah. now looking at in the color change uh, phase. So you're getting darker. In the end they are almost black. This would be another species I really want to find in the wild one day. I say that for every single thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a lot about these to be honest, so I don't I don't know what I should say. I don't know much about them. They live in northern Vietnam, su southern and southeastern yeah, China. Quite a small area. Um, they live mostly in montane forests. They must keep them real cool. Yeah. There's no they, heat lab in this enclosure. Yeah, they like they're right up in the mountains where it's cold, you know. And they're pretty hard to find in the wild. They're pretty rare everywhere. Even the areas where they're common, they're still rare. Best place to find them is probably Taiwan. But yeah, that's good. That's a really awesome snake. Alright, so I'm gonna carefully put it back in its enclosure now. It was definitely really cool getting hands on with this. Yeah, seems to be a very gentle snake. Yeah, I think when you're, I think a lot of snakes are just very gentle if you're slow and you be careful not to scare them. Yeah, most bites is because they're scared of something or feeding response. Yeah, or that. Besides the, yeah. You saw him biting in the beginning, there was a feeding response. Alright, I'm just gonna carefully move him back. Alright, so that was absolutely amazing. I had a great time, saw a lot of stuff I've never seen. Really awesome of Danny to have us over. Links to his stuff down below, go check it out. And yeah, I hope to be back one day. Yeah, of course, you're always welcome. Thanks, man.